to my channel so today i'll be showing you guys how to make um, an exaggerated puffy sleeve i already my last video was just a puffy sleeve a basic puffy sleeve so for this one here i'm going to be showing you guys two methods one is using the normal method of cutting a puffy sleeve right this is the easiest way no calculation nothing but the second one is the one that they normally use where you cut it like a circle like almost like you're cutting a circle skirt that's that's the second method so we're going to start with this first one so the first one basically you're going to take the fabric you're using fold it into two so you see this one here is what i'm using remember this is not like um anybody's size this is just an illustration here so what you're going to do this is the sleeve pattern that i've cut that i'm using here so let's say this is the sleeve you're going to use you get the pattern of the sleeve you place it here leave about three inches at the top and then you might want to leave about Let's say, I don't know how many inches I have here, but let's say maybe six or uh, it depends on how big you want your sleeve to be. So you can go with uh, six inches, five inches, seven inches, eight inches. It depends on you. And then plus your normal body, the body of your sleeve, right? And then and you also leave up to four inches at the end here. You're going to add extra four inches to the length of the sleeve and then extra two inches. So what you're going to do is your sleeve length so let's say this is my sleeve here right this is my sleeve i said no calculation but just more calculation is what you're going to need so let's say my sleeve here is nine inches right you're going to need three inches at the top that is going to be the puffy sleeve this is at the top part you're going to need two inches for your elastic casing and then you're also going to need um four inches for folding of the row um because when you're making puffy sleeve right you're supposed to add extra to the length just the way you add extra to the width because you need because remember when you pull it up you need you, when you want something to be puffy you don't leave it straight you just like pull, pull it up a little bit so that way it gives it that puffiness but if you leave it straight using the normal length you have you will not get that puffiness effect so that's why they normally add like four inches to the length so that you have enough for it so remember three inches at the top that is going to be our puffy part of the sleeve two inches for the casing of the elastic and then four inches for the puffiness of uh, this this here so after that you get your total length that you need right so that's that's how you determine your length and then and then the, this part here is left to you how much you want to use so you can use like i said before any amount you want so now i'm going to cut in it so basically this is it here you're going to take it this way come down by three inches so let's say this is the mark of the three inches here you see all you have to do now is to follow this line of your sleeve and just go ahead and then cut this out and then leave it straight like this so you're just going to what you're going to cut here now if it's if this is what you're doing you're just going to start from this let me use it with scissors cut all the way from here and that's basically what you're cutting notch this part that's your sleeve i'll show you how you're going to attach it another way if you don't want to draw out pattern what you can do is just after cut after you already know how much you want to use extra for the sleeve right let's say you want to use eight inches you know where the eight inches stops right so you know where the eight inches stops so guys the one where you're not using pattern you, you all you have to do is to fold your fabric into two again and then you know how much extra you're going to leave right so you're going to just mark that line to determine how much extra so you want to use eight inches distance from the fold all you have to do is just fold that extra right fold it away and then draw your normal sleeve so how you're going to draw your normal sleeve is um, you're going to come down two inches for the puffy line the puffiness you want to use right and then you go go in and draw your normal sleeve so out you remove the pattern or oh, the reason why you folded this is just so it doesn't confuse you the way the parts that is your excess and then draw in your basic sleeve on the other remaining parts right and then after that i already have a video on how to mark your on how to make a puffy sleeve you might want to watch that i explained it within like two minutes of the video it's like after drawing that your normal sleeve shape right you see that sleeve that we drew in here I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm trying to change the chalk. So you put in your normal sleeve, like how you normally draw it. So what you're going to do is that halfway through, you're going to, if you watch my previous video, you see it's how to draw just a basic uh, puffy sleeve. So from that halfway of the length of your normal sleeve, you're going to just connect it up to this top part here. So you see, now you've made your puffy sleeve. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out, right? 
so guys and then remember you're going to have two of these so there are two methods to, like i said before to cut uh this puffy sleeve this this square method here and then the second method so now i'm going to show you guys how to attach this so see that the first one i was showing you guys so you see how i joined it so i started from the side here and then i joined it up to this side and then whatever that was left that bulky part the top part i just started to pleat it in this way and then that's it at this center part here you see how because i don't want the gather to go all the way down to the end of my armhole so that's why i did it like that so if i go back in and then you see i folded and made casing for my elastic so if i close it up now and then this is the top part of the shoulder sorry let me place it this way so you can see you see i don't want the the uh, the gather to extend all the way down to this armhole part i just want it halfway through so you see what it looks like now you see you see how puffy this is so now pass my elastic and close it up and then we'll go ahead and attach the second one on the other side so, um for this second one guys you're going to cut it like how you cut a circle like a circle sketch right so what you're going to do is the fabric you're going to use you're just is like a square fabric right you're going to fold it into two press it out fold it again into four right but the when you fold it into four you're going to make sure that the length here is up to what you need and how you're going to determine what you need is you're going to this is the one with the calculation but it's not too much calculation just pay attention and you understand it so let's say you're going to measure around the arm i'm going to insert around the arm measurement so the armhole right is what you're going to measure not around the arm the armhole measurement let's say the armhole measurement i'm using is 12 you're going to multiply i'm sorry you're going to divide that 12 by 6.28 just like how we cut a circle square so the the armhole measurement divided by 6.28 this 6.28 you can use it for anybody extra large large small it's just like a constant that is used for everybody to determine like they're going to need so when you divide it so if i divide mine so guys, if I divide my armhole by this constant, which is this 6.28, I have 1.9. So this 1.9, you can just go ahead and use it. If you don't want any pleats at the top part like that, you know how puffy sleeve normally has that pleat at the top? If you don't want something like that, you just want your sleeve to be smoothed out at the armhole, then go ahead and use the exact measurement that you got. But since I want mine to have some pleats all the way up to halfway through the armhole from the shoulder down, I'm going to go ahead that 1.9 that I got I'm going to you either go with 1.5 or you can do times 2 so you can multiply it by 1.5 or you can do times 2 of that armhole like you want enough gather to go times 2 of that circle that's what this is basically if you want you can go times 1.5 that's one times and like half of this the armhole or if you want you can do two times which means you want the flare to be enough to go two times round that's basically what this means but i'm using 1.5 so one and a half times what i wanted to go through so if you do whatever you get so guys what i'm going to use is 2.85 so this is going to be my circle here 2.85 so this is basically what I need to determine the circle of the armhole. So now what I the next thing I'm going to calculate is the length that I want my sleeve to be. So let's say I want my sleeve to be about 5 inches, right? And then I'm going to add extra 4 inches to it. This 4 inches is that same 4 inches we talked about in the first one where you need that 4 inches in case you want your puffy sleeve to come together. You don't want it straight like this. You need to add to the length. So that's the 4 inches here. So that's going to be, this is what I got here. And then you're going to add 2 inches of your, your casing for the elastic. So you see, the same thing came back again to this. The 4 inches of the uh, puffiness to add to the length. So it, it gives you that puffiness. And then the 2 inches for the casing of your elastic that you use at the end. So that's basically how you're going to get the length. So that's, that's going to give me um, 4 plus this plus this. So that's going to be 11. So this 11, you add it to this. So 11 plus this one, 2.85. These two, if you calculate these two together, this is how you're going to get the length of this fabric, the length of the fold. So when you fold yours and it's not enough, you go back again and fold it and, and make sure that whatever you get is the length. So this, the, the hardest part of this is gone. This is the hardest part to just get this particular measurement. So for me, mine is, so what I need is 13.85 is what I need as my length. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I have that. 
So guys, now I've gone ahead and measured mine. So the next thing you're going to do is the first measurement you got, the first one, which is this one here, after you multiplied it by 1.5 or 1 or 2. So for me, I have 2.8. So you're going to go ahead and measure, not from the end that is with the fold, not from this end here, right? You're going to go ahead and put in that measurement and go all the way around. So I have 2.85 here. So I'm just going to go ahead and measure 2.85 all the way and then all the way, right? So that's how I'm going to get my circle. This, this here is not like anybody's measurement. Remember, like I said, this illustration, sorry. And then the next thing you're going to do, you're going to put back your tape again and then you're going to fix in the last measurement, which is this 13.85. So you're going to put in 13.85 all the way around. So the first one, you put your tape at this very edge here, this edge with the fold here. And then you put in this first measurement. You take your tape, two points, whatever, three points, whatever. And then the next one, you get the total of the two lengths and then you're going to put it all the way around. So guys, now you're just going to go ahead, cut out the first opening for your sleeve and then go ahead and cut out the one for the end, right? So this is basically how you're going to do it. That's it all. So now, after cutting this, you go ahead and start attaching it to your sleeve. But before that, this end here, right, this end here, you're going to fold it in with that two inches that you made. You're going to fold it in this way to make your elastic loop. I know that um, when folding the end of circle, it, it doesn't fall in properly. Like sometimes you might have excess. It doesn't look nice. Just fold it like that and just keep going. Remember, elastic is still going to pass through it, so it won't be noticeable. So sometimes when you're folding it, you might notice that it's like this, right? Just fold it together, fold it inside. When you're done, you pass your elastic to it. And then this is going to be the opening for the armhole part. So guys, you see, this is like a circle skirt, like how we normally have a circle skirt, you see? If you put a band to this now, it looks like a circle, like a skirt. So this is how they cut it. So imagine when you put your band here and then put this to a sleeve, it gives you that puffiness. So guys, so guys, for this, uh, I've already gone ahead and attached this. You see what it looks like. This is my elastic. This is the circle one. So you see this puffy. I don't know which one you prefer, but this one takes less fabric. This one takes more fabric because it has to be cut like a circle. And how you attach this one is basically you first join your, you, you first close up everything. You're sure that you finish the body. You've measured out your bust. Everything matches. And then just like how you attach a circle sleeve, you go ahead and pull it open this way. You see? You put it after you've closed up even your seam, your side seam so that you have a circle also. And then you have the circle of your sleeve. Because remember, the sleeve doesn't have any slit to close up the side seam, right? It doesn't have any side seam because it's a circle. So that's why you have to close up the armhole too and have it in a circle. And then put everything together and then move all together to the top part because that's where you want it to be. And then you sew it close. So you see, I have it like a circle here. So this is the armhole and it's done. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.